The Arsenal's they played yesterday uh, against Fulham, and the match ended 2-2. Um, and uh, since yesterday, many Arsenal fans, even non-Arsenal fans, have been calling me and mocking and uh, complaining. In short, I think a lot of people or uh, fans now are calling for the sack of uh, uh, Mikel Arteta. And uh, they wanted to know what is my opinion or what do I think. But the truth of the matter is, I think it's still early days. Uh, we all know, uh, credit to Ateta, uh, we all knew that the job was actually bigger than him, you know. But he proved himself, you know, when he left Man City as an assistant to Guardiola, Guardiola and came to Arsenal. Nobody expected him. You know, even where Unai Emery uh, did not uh, do as expected, you know, since Winger, since the departure of Lenga. Don't forget that Wenger left a very big shoes uh, to fill, you know, and Arsenal has been struggling since then. And Ateta came, I think he won uh, numerous uh, FA Cups. Uh, he got to the finals of the uh, Europa League, if I'm not mistaken. And then last season, he was just ditch of an inch away from winning the uh, APL, which has been elusive from Arsenal for nearly 20 years, you know. So we must give him credit. We must give him credit. Okay, a lot of fans call him average coach. Okay, as an average coach, he has really taken Arsenal, I would say, out of the oblivion to become a team to reckon with. Because if we look at the EPL now, we we'll see clearly that there's only one team only one team, and that's Man City. So we must uh, give credit to, to, to Ateta because he has made Arsenal, I mean, at least Arsenal to be competitive, and he puts uh, Man City on their, on, their, on their toes. Let's not forget that he recently won Man City in the, in the, in the uh, community shield. Co uh, uh, so, I mean, why are we calling for a sack after three, three games? And these three games, he has not lost, yes. Uh, let's take it, okay, we are, take, we are saying that the teams that he has played for, I mean, he has played this season uh, are, are smaller teams. There is no small team in the EPL again, oh. there is no small team, you know. So, yes, we, we, we were able to dispatch um, uh, Nottingham Forest 2-1 in our opening match, but that match we totally dominated. Okay, we struggled against West Ham uh, just by a long goal, and then uh, we could have won uh, even when we didn't play well, we still could have won Fulham yesterday. But unfortunately, uh, they, they didn't do that. So, I mean, please let us take it easy. Let's take it easy and give him, give him some time. And then secondly, about this issue of complaint about Kai Havertz. I mean, if you look at the social media, everybody is complaining about Kai Havertz. Well, one thing a lot of people fail to understand is that Chelsea and Arsenal have been... Uh, uh, exchanging players for many many years you know and in most cases I think the players that came from uh, Arsenal I mean from Chelsea to Arsenal do not do well like the players that move from Arsenal to Chelsea you know most of the players that we we sell are sometimes players who are at, at their prime but most of the players that they sell are players who have passed their peak you know so we must understand this. So, so it's not there. Okay, let me take a, let, let me take us a look back. Let's look at some of these players that have um, uh, played for both sides. You know, uh, starting from Emmanuel Petit in 1997. Yeah, we had Emmanuel Petit in 1997. He played for uh, Chelsea up till 2000, and then in 2000 he now came. Uh, to 2001, he came to us. Uh, no, he played for Arsenal. Sorry, from 1997 to 2000, and then 2001, he went to to Chelsea, and he did be, he did well for them. Okay, then Nicolas Ale Aneka, Nicolas Ane Aneka played from Arsenal from 1997 till 2000 until 1999. Then I think he went elsewhere, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Real Madrid and places like that, and then he came back to Chelsea. You know in 2008 to 2012. Then we have uh, Ashley Cole, the popularly known Ashley Cole, which uh, Jose Murillo uh, cashed on. Uh, Ashley Cole was definitely one of the best. He was a member of the Invisibles with Arsenal. And then 
uh, he left, he played for Arsenal from 2006 to 2010, and then uh, uh, 2000, sorry, 1999 to 2006, and then uh, from 2006 to 2014, he went to he went to Chelsea, where he won he won numerous uh, titles with Chelsea, you know. Then um, Emmanuel Galas, Galas was reverse. He, he played for us, uh, Chelsea from 2001 to 2006, and then he came to Arsenal in 2006 to 2010. You know, uh, well, he even rose to become the captain. You know, he had his critics. We had the occasions where Galas we criticised him, but at the end of the day, uh, he, he played for Arsenal. You know, then um, let's not forget you see Ben Ayon. That's another player that reminds me of, uh, that's another player Kai, Kai uh, Avad reminds me of. Because when Ben Ayu came, I remember he, he played for Liverpool, he, he played for Chelsea from uh, 2010 to 2013, you know. But in between that period, he came to Arsenal on a loan from 2011 to 2012. You know, and um, it was it was not very spectacular, but he did his bit. Then talking about goalkeeper Peter Cech, Peter Cech was already at his peak. He was at his peak. He won almost everything with Chelsea when he played from 2004 to 2015. So he was already getting to retirement before he came to Arsenal. And when he came to Arsenal, we thought at that time that he's going to uh, help us to bring experience and win the league again. But unfortunately, he didn't. You know. Then uh, Peter, I mean uh, David Lewis. David Lewis um, played different spell with Chelsea, 2011 to 2014, then 2016 to 2019. Then he came to Arsenal in 2019 through to 2021. You know, and then uh, Oliver Giroud. Okay, Giroud left Arsenal. You know, and went to Chelsea and won and won. I think he won uh, uh, Lawrence, He won championship. I mean, he won the, the, the cup there, which he was elusive from for, from him when he was in Arsenal. Then, uh, uh, not forget our captain too, um, uh, Pete Pere Emerick Aubameyang. You know. And uh, Obama Young left Arsenal, went to, I think, Barcelona, and then eventually came back to Chelsea. And then jo now the current one is Giorgio. Giorgio um, came since 2023, ju just uh, uh, early this year, I think January transfer, you know. And he had been in Chelsea from 2018 to 2023. So, Okay, I almost forgot uh, Fabregas, our captain too, Fabregas. Fabregas left Arsenal, went to Barcelona and then came to Chelsea, you know. So, uh, let's, let's, be, let's be positive with Kai Havertz. I know it's painful sometimes to see, but the thing is that what are the options Ateta has? What are the options, you know? Now, Jesus is injured. We are hoping that he will be available soon for the next match. Um, Zio came in yesterday and, I mean, he was really struggling. Um, we have lost the Timba, uh, although he's a defender, but then it affects our, our game. That's why player like um, um, Pates is now... Um, um, Thomas uh, Pate, sorry, is now playing in from right back. So, we, we have to look at the situation in, on ground. But luckily, Arsenal has now tough games coming. I know, I know why people are complaining. I know why people are not happy. Because they look at it or they consider these three matches supposed to be bonus. Nottingham Forest, West Ham, Fulham. These are matches that we're supposed to put on bed. But on, on the, that is understandable. I mean, the EPL now is really, really tough. And you cannot rule out anything. But looking at it, we have the next six matches to determine where we stand. And that will really prove Ateta's uh, stand also. Okay? Uh, next, we are going to, in, in September 3, we are going to play Man United. After that, we are playing Everton. Then we go play, we, uh, we play at home to Tottenham before we go to Bournemouth. Then Man City will come to us before we go to Chelsea. So these six games will really determine where we stand. But don't let's forget that last season, Arsenal did very well in the first half. Even we, 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 up till April. Up till April. It was in April we started to capitulate. So I expect that this season also, they will continue from where they stopped last season by doing well. So let's just calm down. Spear uh, some smacks from... from uh, uh, Ateta, and let's encourage him. Let's 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 continue to support the process. Let's let's trust the process, and hopefully, he can deliver for us. Okay, thank you. Well, but 
I would love to hear your thoughts. Drop your thoughts in the comment box. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the Oracle of Cambodia if you've not done so. And those of you who have done so, thank you uh, for, for doing so. Okay? And many thanks to P. Dodge. Uh, P. Dodge, the meme coin that is uh, uh, supporting uh, this my program, Offside with Ken Gaddafi. Thank you and see you again soon.